On in. There's a moose in our room. <laughs> We're going to be touching it, yes, if that's your question. My expectations today are a little higher than normal. You know that I like to laugh and goof around a little bit, but today we got knives out. It's a little more serious. Plus, even though I want today to be fun, there's something serious about taking the life of an animal, right? I mean, like, I don't take that lightly. This is not just fun. I mean, like, an animal gave its life for this. Um, we need to respect that. Plus, this is the food that is going to be consumed by a lot of families in our school community. The Alaska Department of Fish and Game offers educational harvest permits. Um, uh, the goal being for students to learn about Alaska's wildlife, Alaska's cultural traditions. Um, obviously for me as a biology teacher, also bringing in the angle of learning um, animal anatomy. All the way around that knee, through the skin. I do this in conjunction, um, so I'm part of a, a program at Chigik High School called the World Discovery Seminar Program. And those students um, that are in my biology class are also taking an Alaska Studies class. So in that class, they learn about um, you know, some of uh, Alaska's indigenous cultures and the cultural traditions. Um, of course, also about Alaska's wildlife and such. So this is a way to bring together lessons in science and lessons in social studies, um, and really just helping students to be a little more exposed to the place in which we live. Um, you know, of course, we're all Alaskans, but a lot of my students haven't lived here very long or just don't come from families who have these sorts of experiences as far as hunting and utilizing wild game and, and such. So it's a way to tie all that together and frankly, just do something a little different. So I'm just removing the hide by removing like the layer in between the meat and the skin. I actually, I don't know that much what I'm doing. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we'll do the initial uh, skinning and quartering and then um, later this week the students will trim it, the meat, um, and then we'll grind it and seal it and prepare it. Um, most of the meat gets uh, um, donated to families in our community um, and then each student will also get to bring one package home to share with their family. My sister did it a couple years ago when she was a freshman, so I knew we were probably going to do it too, but last year last freshman didn't do it so I was like hoping we did it but we got one so we're happy. I think it's really cool that we're able to like do this as educational and donate uh, this and give it to people who like need the moose and just like enjoy the experience and it's just all the different like processes it's really cool to learn about all this stuff. I think it's really cool how we get to be hands-on in um, high school like this much because like this is definitely not normal like <laughs> for a lot of people wouldn't assume that we would butcher a moose for science instead of like doing some paperwork. When I've done this before, again, I didn't have the whole animal here before, but even just having the legs, there were um, certainly students who, yeah, wide-eyed is a good way to put it. Um, Actually though, a lot of times I've had students that prior to the experience have expressed, you know, cut down, please don't cut up, uneasiness, or frankly just like not wanting to do it. And in my experience the previous times is often those students are really, really engaged once they're here. It'll obviously be a little bit crazy, but um, I also have experienced that a lot of students step up their game when, when uh, they get to do this kind of hands-on work. and. Um, so we'll see, I, it's, it's hard to know what to expect, but I, I, think, I think what I expect is they're gonna do a, a great job and have a lot of fun with it and um, hopefully learn a little bit in the process and lots of laughter and uh, yeah. I'd like to thank the biologists with the Department of Fish and Game for supporting this program and also just appreciate the administration for giving me the freedom to do something a little bit crazy because I could definitely see them being like, yeah, no. Knives in the hands of freshmen, bad idea, but. <laughs>